Hello and welcome to my latest video. In this video I'm going to show you how to program a PIC microcontroller. I have a couple of uh, PIC 12F683 uh, microcontrollers here. I've got a PIC3 programmer and I have got a universal programmer seat. Um, so I'm going to start with the programmer seat. Move aside the rest of the things here and just explain how this works. And since this is a universal uh, seat, it's got configuration for multiple types of um, microcontrollers. We are using the 12F683, which is a 8 pin uh, chip, which is tip 8 here, as you can see. So, this is for dip 8, 14, 18, 20. So we're going to use the setting as it's mentioned here. I've got the jumpers already configured. I'm going to make sure that I put the chip in the right place and the notch is pointing in the right direction. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to drop the chip in there like that. Lock it in. I'm going to make sure that I've got it lined up with that line over there. And that's ready to be programmed. So next, I'm going to take the Picket 3 microcontroller uh, programmer and I'm going to connect this up, making sure that I align the first pin with this indicator. And then I need to plug in my USB cable from the PC. So you can see the power is on, status active, status is going to flash for a few seconds, it's going to read it. And then it's going to stop blinking at a faster rate. You can see that it blinks very quickly for a moment. Okay, with that done, next I need to have my application. I need to start my application. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, there you go. I've got the program running. I've got this running in advanced mode because I want to show you something. Uh, so it's already configured uh, set up our advanced mode. So I'm going to try and let's just clear that. I'm going to try and connect. I've already told it I've selected the pick one uh, 12F683. Uh, this is the last one. I can select different controllers, microcontrollers from here. So I'm going to leave it to that. I'm going to hit connect. You can see the LED, the status LED flashing there. It's trying to connect to the, and it says target removed. Okay, so it doesn't see the target chip in there. So typically it would say target removed, or it would say the chip not detected, one of those two errors. And that can quite often be uh, due to the chip itself not being powered. So right now, as you can see here, uh, I have not checked this option, which is power target circuit in uh, from the tool. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go back to operate. I'm going to disconnect. And then I'm going to connect again. It's going and reading. And it says device revision set target device pick 12F683 found. So it recognized the chip. All I had to do was make sure that I'm supplying power through the tool itself. Next, I'm going to go and check whether this microcontroller is blank. And I can do a blank check. It is going to read it and say so this is a blank check complete device is blank so i'm going to go ahead and do that for my second chip as well making sure that i put this in the right place lock it in and do a blank check again okay so it says blank check complete device is blank so i have two blank chips next what i'm going to do is go ahead and program the chip using a hex file and for that I need to go and file import hex file I have this blinky it's a blink um, firmware 
So I'm going to go ahead and open that. It says loading from there, X file loaded successfully, loaded successfully. Okay, and I'm going to go and hit program. And this is going to go and program that chip. There you go. It says programming complete. And I can now remove this chip from there and move the programmer aside and this blank chip aside. And the next thing I want to do is see if I can get this to work. So I have got this setup over here with. Can I just move the application out of the way? Okay. So all I need to do is let me just make sure this is off first. It is off. And I just need to drop the chip in here. That's the positive, that's the negative, and I am using this GPIO pin to power this LED. So with that all done, let's just see if this program worked. This LED should flash. There you go, you can see the LED flashing. And just to prove a point, let's disconnect that. Take the chip out. I'm going to take the blank one. Put it exactly in the same place. The same orientation. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and power this on. So you can see this is blank, there's no firmware, so it's not doing anything. So next thing I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this chip and I'm gonna put it back in there. I'm gonna take this one out as well. I'm gonna move my rig aside and I'm gonna actually Take the firmware that we already programmed in there, although I can program the second chip exactly the same way, but I just want to show how I can program the second chip using the firmware that's already on there. So I'm going to lock this in place. I'm going to go and start the app again. Okay, it's there, and I'm going to go and read uh, the firmware from the chip. So let me go and do that. I'm going to click on read. And it's going to go and read the firmware, the hex file from the chip itself. Read complete. And I can now take this out. Take this firmware and take this chip, drop it in, lock it, and I can program. Configuration memory programming complete. So now both the chips have got the same firmware. One I programmed from a hex file, the other, the second one, I programmed from the chip itself. I copied it. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in now. This is the one that didn't work last time. And I just move the application out of the way. Okay. And power this on. There we go. So you can see that the second chip has got the same firmware. Let me power it off, take the chip out, and put this other chip in. Okay, and power it on. There we go. So that's just very straightforward way of how to program using the MPLAB IDE. So I do have another option, which is to use the <clears throat> Picket 3 programmer. So let me just load that up. And start that. Okay, so I've got the Picket 3 programmer. And if I try and See if I can program a. So it's not detecting. Let me just unplug and plug it back in. 
see whether it detects it. So it still doesn't detect it. Just plugged in. So it should actually see the program, I think. Need to. Or perhaps I need to. Yeah. Perhaps I need to close the MP Lab application, which I just did, and I'm going to go ahead and plug this back in. Okay, and let me close this and start up again. Okay, and let me start the picket three. Again, okay. So it see, it says <clears throat> the picket three is in MP Lab mode. Use the tools menu to download the NOS compatible with this application. And all I need to do is I need to go into Tools, Download Picket Operating System. So if I do that, uh, I need to show it uh, where the operating system is. So you don't see me loading it for some reason, but you can see that it's actually now downloading the OS onto the Picket 3 programmer. And once that's done, you should be able to program. So you can Picket 3 connected, blah, blah. Let's just drop the chip in. You can get in place. And we need to go ahead and select um, program. Let's go ahead and read this one ahead and read, and over there it's telling us it's a pick 12F683. And I can do the same thing, I can do a blank check, it should say that it's not blank you can do a verify there's a verification for me and if i go and import a hex file and i want to the same as before if i can find it okay so i'm just so it's hex file successfully imported and I can go and write this to the chip. And program memory, programming successful. So as you can see, I can use the either of the two applications. It's just that when you need when you use a specific uh, pick a three programmer application, you need to make sure that you go into tools and download the picket operating system to the programmer okay uh, i hope this was a useful video for you uh, i hope to and plan to do a lot more videos on the picket uh, sorry pick microcontrollers uh, if you have a particular one that you want me to try out uh, leave a comment and i'll try and do my best uh, but that's all for this video thank you very much um, and see you next time